Welcome back. Today, I'm just going to go through factor formulae. Now, these were on the old syllabus. They were in the C3 module. Um, and they did show up in C4 with, I think, either differentiation or integration. But um, I haven't really seen them in any exams, certainly none of the newer exams. And I think going back... You have to go back quite a few years to find where one of these questions was actually the only way to kind of pretty much solve it. Now, with that in mind, I think it is very unlikely that you might need this in exam. There's often a different way, another way to solve the problems where this could be useful. But they are still given in the formula booklet. And since they're given in the formula booklet, I thought it'd be useful to look at where they come from and the types of questions where you could use them. Just to, I think it's kind of worth knowing this. So let's look at the first one. Sine p plus sine q equals 2 sine p plus q of 2 cos p plus q over 2. Now, as I showed just now in the formula booklet, it is using... A and B instead of P and Q but I'm gonna stick with P and Q as I think it makes more sense when I start showing you how to get to that point obviously you can just replace them with any letters that you prefer so let's start with sine A plus B and this is sine A cos B plus cos A sine B and let's also look at sine A minus B. And that's sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. Now, if I add them together, so sine A plus B plus sine A minus B, you can see that I will get 2 sine A cos b as the cos a sine b and the negative cos a sine b would be zero now all i want to do is look at changing these angles now if i let p equals a plus b and q equals a minus b the start will become sine p plus sine q equals 2 sine now if I look at a and I want to rearrange it now looking at this if I add p and q together I'm going to end up with a plus a is 2a and a minus b is 0 so I can see that a is p plus q over 2 and if I look at taking away q from p I get a take away a is 0, b minus minus b is 2b, so b is p minus q over 2. So now I can see that this is going to be sine, now a is p plus q over 2, and b is p minus q over 2. And then that is the formula that I had at the top. Now, if I wanted to do this again, but instead of plus in my formula, I wanted minus, I'd do the same steps, but at this step, I would just take away. And then the rest of the steps are the same. Okay, and that will give me the second formula for sine P minus sine Q. And equally, exactly the same method works for cos P plus cos Q, and I would use cos A plus B and cos A minus B and I'm adding and I'm subtracting to get my factor formally. Let's have a little look at where these might be useful. So here's a question. If I'm looking at my left hand side, sine 105 degrees minus sine 15 degrees, and this equals 2 cos p plus q, so 105 plus 15, sine p minus q 105 minus 15 
And don't forget that both of these are over 2. So that gives me 2 cos of 60 degrees and sine of, sorry, 45 degrees. I almost wrote the 90 there. Now, that's 2 times cos of 60 is a half. Sine of 45 is root 2 over 2, or 1 over root 2 before I rationalise. My 2's will cancel, leaving me with 1 over root 2, which is the form that it was asking for. This is a good example of where the factor formally would be useful. I could expand sine 3 theta using sine 2 theta plus theta and then expand that sine 2 theta further and do something very similar on the bottom of my cos 3 theta and obviously this will use up extra time and effort to get to that point. Now using the factor formally I can save a lot of that time and I'll show you here. So let's start as we would normally on a proof. So we'll start with our left hand side and I'm just going to write the left hand side down before I get into it. So sine 3 theta minus sine theta. This is 2 cos p plus q over 2 sine p minus q over 2 and then that is over 2 cos p plus q over 2 cos p minus q over 2 obviously in the formula booklet they're using a and b it's the same thing now let's do a little bit of cancelling the two will cancel on each of these and this cos and this cos will also cancel. That leaves me on the top. I've got sine 3 theta minus theta is 2 theta. Divided by 2 is theta. So sine theta. And looking at the bottom, 3 theta minus theta is 2 theta. Divided by 2 is theta. So it's over cos theta. Sine over cos is tan theta and that equals the right hand side so you can see using these formally on a question like this would save you a lot of time compared to expanding that 3 theta for sine and cos let me give you a few to try yourself Don't forget, if you are finding these videos useful, please subscribe to the channel and please tell any of your friends to come and subscribe to the channel. It will help me keep making videos as we go forward. Thank you.